Finally, drone footage shows that construction on Saudi Arabia's The Line actually started. The project has been the subject of much debate in recent months, and most said that it's too gigantic to build. But now that construction has begun, how will it turn out? Could it will be the world's greatest mega project ever? Or the line become a trillion dollar mistake or eventually be abandoned? Let's find out. Construction of the line city has started in October, 2021. The exact plan of the line was unveiled by Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in July, 2022. نقدم لكم ذا لاين مدينة مليونية بطول 170 كيلو And it is the Saudi king and crown prince's dream to complete it before 2030. This project immediately become viral on YouTube. He proposed a 170 kilometers long line with a height of 500 meters and a width of 200 meters. The line is not just the biggest mega project ever proposed. It's a new way of living. There will be no cars driven in this linear city, and everything will be within a five-minute walking distance. And people can also travel from one part of this 170 kilometers city to the other in just 20 minutes. Neom will be completely different from the other cities of the world, because the entire city, its electrical system, transport system, everything will run on renewable energy. Then, around three months after the presentation of Mohammed bin Salman, things took a surprising turn. On the 19th of October, 2022, official drone footage of the construction site was revealed. And this video surprised everyone. Foundation of the line is clearly visible in the video. It's hard to say how far it exactly goes, but they could be close to the mountains in the background. According to the official map on Neom's website, the line starts at this bay and cuts through these mountains. Because of the location and the sea in the background, the footage was probably taken here. On Google Maps, there are multiple developments visible. There is a whole site with offices and camps close to the mountains, a Neom community with a football field and swimming pools, and a Neom Experience Center. Since these images aren't up to date, there are probably a lot more by now. So now that construction has really started, how could this turn out? According to some experts, building this future city is impossible with the technology we have. The line project will face many challenges. We believe there are three possible scenarios that could happen with the line. The first possibility is that Saudi Arabia heavily invests in their current plans and that over the next decades, the country really achieves what it promised in its trailers. Implementing certain features could definitely be possible, like having no cars, generating 100% renewable energy, and implementing the idea of vertical living. However, when it comes to the sheer size of the project, it just seems to be undoable. We mentioned earlier that the line is supposed to have a similar height as the One World Trade Center, which took around eight years to complete. While that's still a reasonable time frame, Saudi Arabia wants to build a structure of similar height, but 170 kilometers in length. This would essentially be like building a continuous strip of 2001 World Trade Centers. And since the project contains two of these lines, it would actually be like building 4,000 of them. Simply multiplied by eight years each, we would end up at 32,000 years. Of course, Saudi Arabia would build them much faster since they could start working on multiple parts at once, but it illustrates the scale quite well. Essentially, it would be a task for centuries. To give you another idea, around 40,000 workers constructed the Three Gorges Dam in China, and it took them 17 years. But with a height of just 180 meters and a length of merely 2.3 kilometers, it's tiny compared to the line. The second scenario is that construction on the line will stop in a few months or years, and no people will move on to it. Like Jeddah Tower or Dubai Creek Tower, this could turn into a project where its construction status is unclear. In both cases, great offers were made and big promises were made. Construction had begun, and it looked like the buildings would indeed be finished. But then everything came to a standstill and there was no progress after that. However, this seems to be a less likely outcome for the line, as it is supported by the entire country and has received a lot of attention from around the world. Bringing the project closer to completion could be a great opportunity to bring more tourists and investors to Saudi Arabia. 
But even if they don't do it completely, there are still other scenarios that will save the project, which is the case of scenario number three. Because the line's massive scale appears unlikely to be built, what if the project is built on a smaller scale? We all know the line will be 170 kilometer long and 500 meters in height, but what if these dimensions changed, the city is divided into sections, each of which is only a five minute walk? Depending on the demand, they could simply extend the length when needed. In addition, the height of the line could be adjusted, making the project much more realistic and easier to build. We all know the line will be 170 kilometer long and 500 meters in height, but what if these dimensions changed, the city is divided into sections, each of which is only a five minute walk. Saudi Arabia could decide to stop construction after X number of sections, making the project much shorter, but still allowing it to exist. This is a better scenario than abandoning the project entirely or repurposing it. Another option would be to reduce the project's height, even if they went with 50% of its original height. It would still be a tall mega project roughly the same height as the Eiffel Tower. This would mean that fewer people will be able to move into the line reducing the population from 9 million to 1.3 million. This wouldn't be that big of an issue since Saudi Arabia could add more sections to the city if demand for it is high enough. So which of these scenarios will become reality is only something that time will be able to tell. And what's your thoughts about this project? Tell us in the comments below. I hope you liked this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.